This is a three-minute overview of the program comprehensive meta-analysis. I'm going to show you how you can enter data, run a quick analysis, and create a high-resolution forest plot. The first thing that we need to do is to enter the data. So I'm going to say insert column for study names and insert column for effect size data. One of the nice things about the program is that it will work with data from almost any kind of study, whether that study uses means or binary data, correlational data. So we need to tell the program what kind of data we're planning to use. Uh, in this case, I'm going to say we're working with dichotomous data, and then that we're working with unmatched groups, and then that we're working with events and sample size in each group. And then the program allows me to name uh, the groups. I'm going to call them treated and control, and it allows me to name the outcomes. I'm going to call that dead and alive. And now I have over here columns in the treated group, the number of dead and the total, and the control group, the number of dead and the total. My first study is Cooper, 2002. I had six patients that died out of 40 in the treated group and 10 that died out of 40 in the control group. And the program immediately computes the odds ratio. Uh, I can customize this so that I want to see the risk ratio and maybe the risk difference as well. And all of that is displayed over here. I'm going to open up a file that has the next few studies in it rather than enter them right now. And I have this information now for a total of six studies. Um, I click Run Analysis, and the program shows me for these studies, for each study, I have the point estimate and the confidence interval, the odds ratio. Let's switch this and make this the risk ratio. So I have the risk ratio, the lower and upper limit, the z-value, and the p-value. And the program shows me the weight that each study is assigned. I can do that for the fixed effect model. I can do it for the random effect model, or I can do it for both models. So. Over here, I have the weights under the fixed effect model, the weights under the random effect model, the point estimate and confidence interval under the fixed effect model and under the random effects model. And then the next thing that I might want to do is to create a high resolution plot. I'm going to customize the kind of information that's being shown. I'm going to click on high resolution plot and I get this plot over here. Uh, and then I can export that to PowerPoint. I'll open up a copy of PowerPoint and then I can simply run this as a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, as I said before, this is a very general overview of the program. The program has uh, many advanced functions. I can do subgroup analysis, uh, regression, publication bias. I can work with studies that provide the multiple outcomes or have multiple independent subgroups. Um, there are many additional options as well. On the website we have tutorials that explain each of these in detail. Um, I hope you will uh, have a look and thank you very much.